His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call and a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the victory of the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the 160-kilometer FAI World Endurance Championship in France. During the call, His Majesty praised His Royal Highness's continuous follow-up in supporting the kingdom's sports sector and ensuring that Bahraini endurance sport progress and reaches distinguished levels that reflect the growing ambition of the people of Bahrain to ascend the podiums in regional and international forums. His Majesty praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's achievements and for winning the world title for the second consecutive time amid strong competitions, expressing great pride in this historic achievement, which raised the kingdom's status, emphasizing the advanced status of the endurance sport in Bahrain. His Royal Highness expressed deep thanks and appreciation for the great support of His Majesty to the sports sector, which has been reflected in the Kingdom winning many awards and championships in various sporting events, praising the role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser in continuing to enhance the status of the Kingdom on the sports level, especially the endurance races. His Royal Highness wished the team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser continued achievements and successes. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the victory of the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, after securing first place in the 160km FAI World Endurance Championship in France. His Highness affirmed that this remarkable achievement reflects the unwavering support of His Majesty for sport particularly endurance racing, which reflects Bahrain's prestigious status and growing success on the global stage, which reinforces the kingdom's reputation and ability to triumph in international competitions. His Majesty noted that this victory adds to the honorable accomplishments that Bahrain continues to achieve under His Majesty's leadership. His Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness and to achieve further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations on the victory of the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, after securing first place in the 160km FEI World Endurance Championship in France from senior members of the Royal Family, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, the Shura Council Chairman, Ministers, Senior Officials, Dignitaries, Members of the Representatives and Shura Councils, Municipal Council Members, Governors, Governors, Bahraini ambassadors abroad, accredited diplomatic mission heads, heads of sports, associations and clubs, and citizens. The congratulators affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's historic victory was made possible by the support and continuous follow-up of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. They praised the high-level performance of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in order to retain this world title for the second consecutive year through his preparation and training, which is added to his record of honorable achievements, noting that the royal team has become an honorable model that promotes Bahrain on international podiums. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the 160km FEI World Endurance Championship in France. His Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the victory of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who won first place. His Royal Highness also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser for winning this global championship for the second consecutive time, highlighting the immense pride it brings to the country. His Royal Highness affirmed that endurance racing in the kingdom has achieved advanced levels thanks to the unwavering support from His Majesty the King. He highlighted that Bahrain continues to enhance its global position in various sports, particularly endurance racing, driven by the excellence of its athletes. His Royal Highness underscored His Highness Sheikh Nasser's role in advancing endurance racing in the kingdom and praised His Highness's distinguished leadership of the Royal Endurance Team which has contributed to Bahrain's success in this field and its various sports events. His Royal Highness noted His Highness's commitment to preparing and training for the championship which contributed to his victory. He wished His Highness and the Royal Endurance Team continued success in securing future world championships and titles. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness for their unwavering support which contributed to his victory. He emphasized that this second consecutive victory is a direct result of the encouragement of His Majesty the King. He added that His Majesty provided continuous guidance and closely monitored every development of the race, which served as a powerful motivator for His Highness to secure first place and excel in endurance sports. 
His Highness also highlighted that the presence of His Royal Highness significantly boosted his drive and contributed to the successful completion of the race. He expressed his gratitude upon achieving first place and hailed the close support of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness pointed out that the presence and engagement of his children and the children of His Highness Sheikh Khalid throughout the journey played a crucial role in his victory. He noted the strong competition and difficult weather conditions in the early stages, but he was able to develop a technical approach that led him to secure his second world title. His Highness Sheikh Khalid, as well as the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, and Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Following the victory of the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, after winning first place in the 160 km FAI World Endurance Championship in France. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated the world champion, the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, after securing first place in the 160 km FAI World Endurance Championship in France. His Royal Highness affirmed that His Highness's victory is a testament to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in advancing equestrian sports in the kingdom. He highlighted the importance of elevating the kingdom's standing in international sports competitions and emphasized the importance of maintaining the Royal Endurance Team's efforts led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, noting that his consistent top performances bring pride to the kingdom. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes for the Royal Endurance Team, praising the team's determination and persistent ambitions to ascend the podium and represent the kingdom on the global sports stage. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from senior members of the Royal Family, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, the Shura Council Chairman, Ministers, Senior Officials, Dignitaries, Members of the Representatives and Shura Councils, Municipal Council Members, Governors, Bahraini Ambassadors Abroad, Accredited Diplomatic Mission Heads, Heads of Sports Associations and Clubs, and Citizens. Following the victory of the World Champion, the Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, after securing first place in the 160 km FEI World Endurance Championship in France. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team and World Champion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, was officially crowned the gold medal during a ceremony where he was crowned champion of the 160 km FEI World Endurance Championship in France. Present were the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, and Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, and Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nasser's sons, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid's sons. His Highness and the Royal Team's delegation were delighted with the honoring ceremony amid a large crowd that stood to greet His Highness for winning the World Endurance title. His Highness's host, Everest Lamaguire, was awarded the Best Condition Award, adding to the World Championship title of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness retained the World Championship title for the second consecutive year after winning the title last year at the Budib village in the UAE. His Highness finished the race in 8 hours and 32 minutes, beating UAE rider Saeed Ahmed Al Harbi, who finished second. 
The third place went to Francis Melody Tillisset, while Royal Team rider Jafar Mirza finished 14th. ألف ألف مبروك والناموس على هذا الانتصار في هذا السباق الصعب جدا بالأرضية بالأجواء يمكن المناخية اللي صادفت هذا السباق اللهم لك الحمد اللي قدرنا ونفوز بطولة العالم مرة أخرى ورأي صحيح لكن عبور الخط المركز الأول وتقديم منافسة شديدة مثل هذا النوع هذا أكسبني خبرة وأكسبني فرحة وأنا الحين يعني خلاص متقبل اي نتيجه تحصل مبروك لدوله الامارات ايضا على الاداء الغير طبيعي الله قدرنا ولله الحمد انصاب حصاني الرئيسي واثبتني بطل العالم على حصاني الاحتياط فما اطلب اي شيء ثاني الحقيقه مشكور مشكور سيدي جلاله الملك مشكورين اسرتي كلهم اللي متواجدين وياي ولله الحمد الله اكبر in a special statement, the world champion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that he defended his title as world champion for the second consecutive time, adding that the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was the best motivator for him in this important global event. <laughs> في باقي العلوم كلها يدفعنا للأفضل ويخلينا ننافس العالم ويعطينا هذه الروح اللي خلينا نطمح لأعلى شيء ما نطالع النطاق المحلي نطالق نطالع النطاق العالمي وننافس بمعدننا ننافس بروحنا وننافس عشان علمنا اليوم أصعب مهمة كانت لي مو بس أني أفوز بطولة العالم أني أشارك كبطل عالم وإني أدافع عن لقب بطل العالم وإني أفوز بطولة العالم في سنة ثانية متتالية والظروف اللي قبل السباق أن حصاني الرئيسي تعور قبل الدخول واضطريت أركب الاحتياط عطاني عزم زود وما رد من عزمي اللي خلاني أثبت للجميع أني بقدر أفوز بطولة العالم على حصان ثاني ولله الحمد الله عطانا على قد نياتنا وعلى قد جهدنا وأنا قلتها من شهر قلت باقي شهر الله يوفق اللي اجتهد اكثر مني لاني انا متاكد ما حد اجتهد اكثر مني حق بطوله العالم. والعمر تشريف سيدي سمو العهد اليوم وحضور يمكن مفاجاته لك في السباق شنو يعني لك في هذه البطوله تحديدا؟ قلت له الله يطول عمر ابو عيسى هو خير وبركه ووجوده ويانا اليوم اعطانا الحقيقه دعم معنوي كبير امام الناس جملنا بحضوره خلى الناس تشوف ان قيادتنا متواجده معانا. ولله الحمد ان الله شرفنا ووهبنا هذا المركز اللي نبيض الوجه فيه. طويل العمر سؤال اخير ماذا بعد هذا الانتصار بالنسبه لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد؟ احنا ما نزلنا من السرج ولا رخينا بطاننا احنا مواصلين اليوم جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره عقب اتصاله بي اتصل بالعيال فاجئوني العيال قالوا لهم قالوا لي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره واحنا بعد جايين فلا تتوقع إن لو أنزل من سرج يوم الأيام إن يخلو هذا السرج العيال موجودين وذخيرة إن شاء الله لمستقبل البحرين. He combined administrative leadership competence with field brilliance. He became the man of the field, the brave knight, and the owner of gold as usual. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the world knight and the world champion in the endurance races for the second time in a row, and from France. This is how the Kingdom of Bahrain and the whole world knew His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Since he started leading the youth and sports field, Bahrain has never stopped reaping achievements in various sports and at all levels, locally, regionally and internationally. 
His Highness has been working for many years to implement the directives of His Majesty the King to strengthen Bahrain's position on the sports map and make it stronger and more present in various international forums with the support and diligent follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the continuous keenness of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Due to this generous royal support for the sports sector, and the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, Bahraini sports is now known for its strong and solid foundations, which paved the way for athletes, knights and equestrians to make their way to the world stage and win many awards, medals and cups and raise the name of Bahrain. His Highness did not hesitate to preserve the sport of grandparents and fathers and exerted all efforts and good endeavors to promote equestrian and endurance races and work to produce a generation of young riders capable of carrying the banner of Bahraini ability and developing it for a brighter future. His Highness made global achievements and successes in pioneering the sports of endurance and His Highness will continue to move forward as we have always known him to reap a new achievement added to the series of great achievements achieved by His Highness Sheikh Nasser in the history of Bahraini sports. Various local and Arab media outlets interacted with the hashtag World Champion after His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa won the FEI World Endurance Championship for the second time in a row in France. More on this report. ألف ألف مبروك ناموس تم الإعلان مشاهدينا الكرام عن فوز مملكة البحرين الشقيقة بلقب هذا السباق وفوز سموه سمو سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة نبارك مرة أخرى للأشقاء في مملكة البحرين الشقيقة وهذا الانتصار الرائع والجميل the victory of the captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, winning the World Endurance Championship for the second consecutive year is a source of pride for all Bahrainis. This great achievement was reflected on social media platforms and international and Arabic newspapers, where it witnessed a great interaction. <laughs> اليوم أصعب مهمة كانت لي مو بس إني أفوز بطولة العالم إني أشارك كبطل العالم وإني أدافع عن لقب بطل العالم وإني أفوز بطولة العالم في سنة ثانية متتالية والظروف اللي قبل السباق إن حصاني الرئيسي تعور قبل الدخول واضطريت أركب الاحتياط عطاني عزم زود ومرد من عزمي اللي خلاني أثبت للجميع إني بقدر أفوز بطولة العالم على حصان ثاني ولله الحمد الله عطانا على قد نياتنا وعلى قد جهدنا وأنا قلتها من شهر قلت باقي شهر الله يوفق اللي اجتهد أكثر مني لأني أنا متأكد ما حد اجتهد أكثر مني حق بطولة العالم This victory represents the solid will, unrelenting determination, hard work and training of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to achieve this victory making him a role model for golf and Arab youth <تصفيق> His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad's victory in the World Endurance Championship left a great impact on social media users, with the hashtag World Champion trending on social media, which affirms the Arab and international pride in the World Champion. And to speak more about the outstanding achievement of world champion His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, we are joined over the phone but from France by the director of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan. Hello and welcome, Dr. Khalid. Can you tell us more about the achievement of the world champion His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad at the FEI World Endurance Championship in France for the second consecutive time and what does it represent? Hi, good evening for everybody. Good evening for Bahrain TV viewers. And uh, first, I'd like to extend my congratulations to King Hamid uh, bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness the Crown Prince, uh, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, for His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid achieving uh, first place in the World Euro Championship, which was held in the French city of Mombasa with the participation of uh, 23 countries and 115 of the best riders in the world. I would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Nasser personally for his honorable performance throughout the stages of the race, which was uh, characterized by rough track, uh, 
low temperature and early morning and heavy rain. The Raider Sheikh Nasser developed a strategy to reach first place by following the required speed for each stage of the race. Uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser prepared for His Highness uh, prepared for uh, for uh, his Highness Sheikh Nasser prepared for uh, this championship uh, since last year and experienced the race in the same area to get to know the terrain and course of the race. He prepared for this championship, as you said, as, uh, as you said, the Sheikh Nasser bought of horses Darko and the horse Everest and uh, supervised their physical fitness and the required manner. Unfortunately, Darko was injured, so he chose. Uh, the horse uh, uh, Everest. He also prepared physically by following a healthy diet required to reach the ideal weight for this championship. We are fort- uh, fortunate to have uh, distinguished Bahraini rider who represents Bahrain, Bahrain youth and is a role model of all youth in the Arab world. It's worth uh, noting that uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser is the only Arab uh, rider to win two consecutive championships and to win the gold medal uh, in uh, this achievement for Bahrain and for His Highness Sheikh Nasser personally. That's why I want to say it for this interview and I'd like to thank Bahrain TV and for all the coverage of those championships. This achievement is an absolute source of pride for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The director of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan, thank you for joining us. The Kingdom of Bahrain has achieved remarkable success in sports thanks to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the close guidance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to further advance the sports sector. More on this report. Bahraini sports have achieved amazing successes in golf, Arab, and international forms, with athletes reaching new heights through their determination. These accomplishments are supported by His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and ambitious plans from His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the supervision of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Kingdom of Bahrain has shined in endurance races, with His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad winning the FEI World Endurance Championship in France. This victory adds to the Royal Endurance Team's impressive achievements and highlights Bahrain's status in this historic sport, which reflects rich Bahraini traditions. Bahrain has made important progress in sports, highlighted by its recent achievement at the 2024 Paris Olympic, where it secured four medals. This accomplishment marked Bahrain as the top-ranked Arab nation. In addition to its Olympic success, Bahrain's national basketball team recently won at the 17th Gulf Championship, further highlighting the kingdom's skills in various sports. Bahrain's recent sporting achievements reflect the nation's determination, sincerity, and patriotism, enhancing its reputation on various levels.
The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding the holiday on the occasion of the Prophet's date of birth. The circular stated that the Kingdom's ministries, agencies and public institutions will be closed on Sunday 15th of September 2024. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jum'a, attended the conclusion of the second edition of the Gulf Hackathon for Artificial Intelligence and Education hosted by Bahrain. In the presence of the Director General of the Arab Bureau of Education for the Gulf State, Dr. Abdul Rahman Al Asami. In his speech, the Minister of Education praised the event, which is in line with the efforts of GCC Education Ministries to include AI in curricula and student activities. The hackathon brings together a group of students to exchange programming experiences and technical solutions to improve education practices, in addition to developing the programming and technical skills of participating students. The participation in the by-elections in the first constituency of Amhara Governorate yesterday witnessed a wide turnout amid easy organizational procedures. More in this report. From the early hours of the opening of the polling doors for the by-elections, for the membership of the Representatives' Council for the first constituency of Amhara Governorate, to the moment of closing the ballot boxes, the subcommittees and general committees for voting and counting witnessed a wide turnout of voters, which confirms the awareness of Bahraini citizens of the importance of participating in the democratic process and highlighting their sense of national responsibility towards supporting their country's democratic march. The keenness of the people of Amharraq to participate in the performance of the national duty to choose the representative who will represent them during the remaining period of the sixth legislative term affirms their faith in the democratic process of the Kingdom of Bahrain and their desire to choose the best candidate to express their needs and requirements in the future. This heavy turnout was achieved amid smoothness and great facilitation by the concerned authorities in organizing the electoral process, as the authorities were keen to provide all the necessary needs needed by voters from entry to exit. The runoff election between Ibrahim Abdullah Yusuf al Sheikh Saleh al Sheikh and Abdul Wahid Abdul Aziz Abdul Wahid Garata will be held on Saturday, September 14th. And to speak more about Bahrain's electoral process, we were joined by writer and academic Professor Abdullah Al-Hawaj, who delivered the following statement. First of all, I would like to thank Bahrain TV for inviting me for this very important day. I'm very, it's very clearly that the high turnout of electors uh, proves very clearly that the Bahraini citizens are really uh, believes in democracy and they feel that their vote uh, means a lot of things and it can change things you know and this is what uh, been approved uh, in the last 20 years every time the turnout is better and this is an indication that the Bahraini citizens are actively involved in democracy and they believe that democracy can solve a lot of their problems. So today in Maharag, uh, it's very crowded and if you go even in the general centers where, where for, you will see a lot of people uh, and uh, I'm very pleased to tell you that we feel that during the last 20 years in every election things have been improved you know so the bahraini citizen lives really these very very important times and they want to prove that they can reach what they're always dreaming of and that democracy will solve a lot of their problems the, the whole circumstances are very positive. So I'm, I personally have asked a few of my friends who are voters in, in, in that area, 
and they're very enthusiastic and they do believe that wh whoever win this election will bring to them a lot of success. In a move reflecting the depth of historical fraternal relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, announced the launch of a tourism campaign entitled Delighted to See You in a celebration of the 94th Saudi National Day, which falls on September 23rd. The campaign will feature a mix of diverse tourism, entertainment, and cultural events to welcome Saudi citizens and visitors from GCC countries. Through this campaign, the BTEA seeks to provide a memorable celebratory experience. This year's festivities will include a variety of events for all tastes and ages. On this occasion, the CEO of BTEA, Sarah Bouhaji, affirmed the authority's keenness to commemorate this occasion. She affirmed that the Saudi National Day is a reflection of the deep-rooted historical ties between the two kingdoms. The upcoming event will serve as a window into authentic Bahraini culture and the hospitality that Bahrain is known for. Coinciding with the silver jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri, laid the foundation stone for the construction of Dul Jalal Wal Ikram Mosque in Hamad Town. The chairman praised the great support that houses of worship in the kingdom received from His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The mosque consists of two floors and includes all facilities and services and has a capacity for about 280 worshippers. The Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture announced the launch of the updated version of the Unified Guide to Building Permit Requirements for Bahrain, both in Arabic and English, on the website of the Binayat system. The updated requirements have been included in coordination with all relevant government agencies. The guide aims to facilitate the process of accessing the requirements of building permits, which contributes to speeding up the process of providing the service to the final beneficiary. The Unified Guide also includes the necessary procedures for issuing building permits for residential and investment projects. The guide is a reference for engineering and consulting offices and those interested in building permits. University of Bahrain students began the new academic year after the university completed all preparations for the undergraduate and postgraduate students. On the occasion, the president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Fuad Al Ansari, congratulated all students on reaching this milestone on their academic life, in which students seek to acquire specialized knowledge through scientific methods, critical thinking, problem solving, and creative analysis. About 3,400 students at the university have taken the English language exemption exam.